Hey guys, it's Kate here with Kepler Electronics, and today we're talking about the Vex 2018-2019 Turning Point game. This is a very interesting game. I'm um, talking at the top of my head right here. Uh, it's late at night, trying to get this video out for you guys. Um, so this is an interesting game. Uh, I've been reading over the rules, and I'm just finding a ton of really interesting stuff that completely changes how the game can be played. How the game is meant to be played. Um... So let's go over the scoring first, then I'm going to go talk about the strategies that I had had and strategies that are illegal uh, from what I have read. So there are these caps, which are essentially little discs with a cylinder through the center. One side is blue and one side is red. You want your color to be facing up. You get one point if it's facing up and it's on the floor, and you get two points if it's facing up and it's on the poles. There are several poles surrounding the arena and if you can get it on top of one of those you get two points if your color is facing up the next method of scoring is there are flags along one side of the field the bottom flag gets one point the middle flag and the top flag each get two points then perhaps the most conspicuous part is there are three platforms in the center a blue and a red platform on either side of a yellow platform that is raised slightly. The goal is to park there at the end of the game. The blue and the red platform each give you three points, and the yellow platform will give you six points. So this is going to end up being a shoving match, as there are four robots and three positions. So there's a number of strategies that I've thought of to combat this, and a lot of the strategies that a lot of people are probably going to think of are probably against the rules. So first we're going to talk about the flags, because that's perhaps the most interesting part. So my initial thought to seeing the flags, because I didn't get to read over the rules until just a little bit ago, um, was oh, just use a double reverse four bar or some other type of lift to just push them. But um, according to SG2, you can only expand to higher than 18 inches if you're inside of a designated area. So, the name of the game here is going to be launching these little yellow balls. The expansion zone is with, behind the white tape on the far side of the net, or on the far side of the flag zone. So, you're going to have to launch these yellow balls and hit the flags. So, that was a real shocker to me um because that's gonna be the part where it's not really just about building a robot it's about having a driver practicing and learning how your robot works so you're gonna have to get your robot finished early and just start practicing and practicing and practicing uh, one other thing, autonomous mode, your robot cannot pass the center of the field. That's either SG1 or SG3, I think. Maybe it's SG4. Not entirely sure. It's one of the rules. Um, but then we have the, the King of the Hill style parking. Almost a mini game because that's going to dominate the last bit because that six point center bonus is more points that you can score in any other way and only one team can get it. So, oh yeah, also there's the autonomous bonus. Um, I don't remember who said it, I don't remember if it was on Discord or the Vex forums, but the autonomous bonus is going to be insane because that could literally decide matches. So if you can figure out a way to get some autonomous points, then definitely go for it. But, the, so, the highest point value that you can feasibly get in one go is the autonomous bonus, but the second highest is the parking at the very end. So, <coughs> excuse me. The number one strategy that I thought of was essentially clamping on to the yellow platform, but come to read it in SG8 or SG9, that is against the rules. However, I did come up with another idea which I do not believe is against the rules. The idea is to essentially use linear motion um, or maybe even pneumatics if your team has that 
to essentially lower a like a platform covered either in rubber bands or like that non uh, non slip matting that Vex provides into the the platform. You're going to want to reduce any possible way of being knocked around. You're going to want to increase your friction as much as possible when you're up there. How can you do that? Well, number one, um, don't use Omni wheels. Um, there's the chance that it could be slightly more taxing on the motors, but I mean, if you're going to need to, you're going to want that bonus. And I, th I feel like that's what's, that's one of the things that's going to help get the bonus, at least in the early days. The next idea is to have that linear motion idea, which raises down a platform that just kind of comes out of the center of the robot that's made with, I that's covered in either nonstick matting or rubber bands, just to give you that grip. So we're going to have to figure out, like, I don't know, as a community, what's the best strategy? Because Currently, I'm thinking try and going for the parking and then maybe stacking or stacking and flipping. I don't know. I feel like stacking and flipping is probably going to be more common in the early matches, um, like early game um, over the summer and maybe even early, like early mid fall. But I feel like we're going to get to some robots that can do some insane multitasking. Um, even with, uh, in the zone, which seemed like it was a fairly simple game, there were a lot of different, uh, strategies and robot designs and methods of scoring that people discovered even late into the year, uh, by worlds, almost everybody had very similar robots, but I mean, there was some advancement and some innovation going on late into the game and that's that's pretty awesome and i look forward to seeing what's going to be discovered and decided and learned but at present i don't know what the best option is going to be i'm thinking if you can manage to figure out some way to get an autonomous and to get parking then Oh my goodness, like, if you can get autonomous and parking, you're basically set. Because that's 16 points. The only other way to get 16 points is to get 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, um, 15. They basically have to score in every other possible way to get more than that. So I don't know. I don't know what this year is going to hold. I wish you guys the best. Good luck. Have fun. And I'll see you guys at the competitions. Have a good one. Stay safe.